Hi, my name is Haley, and I'm going to be teaching you today about Nearpod, which is an online website or application that teachers can use to make much more exciting PowerPoints for students that also engages students. And not only can you make PowerPoints that are engaging, you can make interactive PowerPoints that really allow teachers to gather that informal assessment and see where students are when they're completing work in class because sometimes when you give presentations you don't really know how much students are picking up so it's great to have these kinds of checks to see if your students understand the information. So first of all go to a Safari or Chrome or search browser and go to nearpod.com. If you do not have an account already you'll have to create a free account with just a first name, last name, email, very easy. Um, I have an account so I'm going to log in and my information has already been input and it'll take you to this screen. You have your library, explore, join, create reports. As the teacher, you're going to want to create a Nearpod presentation. So I'll go to create and I will add a new presentation. These are my library presentations I have already made. So it gives you a welcome and a thank you and you can delete those if you'd like by selecting delete slide or you can keep them or add pictures and whatnot. So to add a slide, just like PowerPoint, you can either add content, which is a slide with words. You can add a video or a slideshow of photos. These audio and PDF file PDF viewer will be accessible if you um, pay a fee or free trial at the beginning. You could also add activities. An activity I really like to add is the um, quiz so that I know what my students are understanding and also draw it. Draw is really cool because you can say, um, for example, if I want students to show the number 325 in expanded notation, I can simply write show 325 in expanded notation. And I'll save this slide. You have to make sure you save them. And it's really easy, user friendly. You can just drag it and make it whichever order you'd like. And this is essentially what students are going to be seeing on their iPads. Um, or tablets depending on what you use in your school and I have already created a slideshow and I want to show you what you would do next so first of all you must publish so say you finish you're doing all your work you finish publish it um, you can title it practice pick your grade maybe it's second grade math there we go done yes I'd like to publish now you can go to this home bar in the corner and go to your library. This is how we share with students. So once you've entered your library, I'm going to use one I've made before called Number Forms. Open it up and you're going to start a live session. It gives you a access code and this is the code you're going to give to students so they can access the um, Nearpod presentation you have made. So I have actually opened another browser to show you student and teacher. So on the right will be the student, on the left is the teacher. So I'm going to join as a student and I enter the session they just gave me, R-I-G-F-T, G-T-F. And now my screen matches the screen of the teacher. So as a teacher, you can control what slide we are on. So I'll go to the next slide. I will enter my name, nickname, if you students would like. Continue. I'm now showing up on the teacher list. And I'm ready to move on to the next slide. This is a word form slide, just kind of re-giving students that there are different number forms. Word form, expanded notation, base 10, number form. The next slide is an interactive one, and as a student, I can now write 325 in word form. So it's much simpler to use a um, pointer finger as the tool here. Uh, my mouse is somewhat slow, so I will just leave it at that. And the student will send it. And what's so awesome here is that the teacher side will have the drawings of all of his or her students that have been inputting their answers. So there's just one student with me doing it here but usually there'll be several showing up on the screen so you can see right away which students are understanding concepts and which are not. So you'll continue, show 325 in base 10, 
and then we come to a quiz. So this is even more information about how students are doing. And I'll select 621, send. And on the teacher side, it shows that hopefully I've gotten the correct answer and gives you lots of data. And that is how to use Nearpod in a classroom. Thank you.